Okay, you guys. I am, um, whoop. I am just really, uh, so here we go. We've got a matted multi poo. Uh, pet parent has been grooming themselves at home and it got overwhelming and they did, they had had bad experiences with PetSmart out just straight out of his mouth. That's what he said. He said over the phone, the pet, the pet had mats behind the ears and uh on the high knee but i am telling you when i hear that i don't just say oh okay just the ears and high knee i just assume the pet's completely matted and i'm glad i do because this is entirely matted the whole leg is matted the armpits are hugely matted the legs coming down the legs is matted all the whole face and the chin here is matted it is extremely matted here matted meaning um time and time again it's been bathed and uh so much look at the clumps of hair just tight against the skin pulling off pulling away and it's been bathed over and over causing it to be even harder and she's a very young dog and what they said was they didn't want to go to pet smart so they refrained from doing that and then he bathed the pet yesterday okay and then after the bath realized holy crap it's really bad we need to go somewhere he took my last last minute appointment the next available is until sometime in april so because of that i i told him this is not going to happen again i probably won't have a, uh, the next day available like that often so please be sure to book in advance okay all right, something that we also recommended was that the pet get, so he says he's got a slicker brush, he brushes this and that, and I said, if you would take a comb through this coat, you would have known there's definitely, there's definitely no, look, she's already biting, it's absolutely painful. There would have been no way for you to be able to say, oh, there's no knots, huge amounts of knots. If you can't get this comb through the, from the skin out, like right here is fine not down in the skin it's not fine this is really really bad and really painful so i don't know her very well and being the maltese mix i'm going to say i should be careful and instead of muzzling her i am actually going to put this cone head on her and uh take the, most of this off with her wearing a cone head okay i don't know her you never know what might happen but that's where we're going to start. It gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Because Dad said she does not like her face messed with. Okay. At all. So this, this is just not a good, this is not what you want to do. Okay. You don't want to do that to your pet. You don't want to get them all worked up. They hate stuff and then bring them in doubled up. It's just a real tough groom then usually. All right, look at this. We just got that off yeah, the side. Look, the hair is just moved. It's it's like pushed away because it's been holding that mat so long.
The armpits are really tough place with the skin flaps in there. I mean, this is really tough stuff here, you know? This is not okay. You need to be uh, knowledgeable in being able to say, I'm, you know, and to knock on wood, anybody could nick a dog like this because the mats are all there and the dog is young. And I'm just trying not to agitate and move too much. If I could just, I'm going to get a spotlight so some of this stuff starts really showing and showing up really well. This is, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Let me see your arm here. You want to get it up there. Open it out a little bit. No, don't. I know it's awkward. I'm going to get that skin open there so you don't hit anything on accident. That skin flap. Get it all exposed so you can see. What a good Maltese. Malty poo. So maybe that's why. Got a little poodle in there. All right, make sure you're switching out the blade and stuff like that, which I am. I've gone now to my third 10 blade at this point. See if it was uh, not matted, it would just fall right off, but extremely matted here. This whole piece was one piece. I'm going to save that.
getting along, man. It's coming along. Let me get uh, my sweep here. Come back, do a little bit of something, some uh, reverse tan on the toes here because the bottoms are pretty matted, so that'll all just work itself out. I want to show you guys the sanitary area here because uh, it's all matted in there. I'm going to do that together. Man, it's getting so hot already. It's just like still March here in Texas, 2018. All right. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we're going to do come around together here and do the sanitary together. And you can kind of guesstimate that this is all matted in here. She is in heat, that's why this is pretty swollen if you ask me. It's like doing yourself, man. You gotta be real careful. The skin, look at all this is matted in there. You gotta hike that leg, how or how else are you gonna get in there? You gotta hike that leg somehow. Look at all that. Let's raise this one and go up under here. Get the legs here real good. Hey, 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 you're okay. Let me get in there. Get in there and get out, you know what I'm saying? Da 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 da, you're okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Give me some time here to get in there. Get all this stuff out of there. Okay, now. You gotta stand up. I know you don't like it. Yeah, I know. I know you don't like it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Maybe try this. Come on this side. Okay. Alright. Now. Get, coming into the worst part, which Dad said he, she hates her face. So this makes me, always makes me a little nervous. But we just got to do what we can do. And get the knots and mats out and her ears are in a really tough shape all right do our best here okay let me take this off this is a comfy cone so we, are, we sell these too i, I have a diff, couple different cones that i use so just depends on what you're trying to do here and what pet you're working with okay this is all puffy because it's matted bad so the puffiness is already a sign as soon as you see a dog you're like oh you can kind of already know, okay? And ears on a Maltese for this kind of pet is very small. So you got to be careful what you're shaving off, you know? You got this huge mat back here and it goes down under her face and under her chin and half the side of her face and dad was like oh she just got matted ears no it's more than what you thought look at this over the phone now are you going to quote someone for a matted ear or a matted body i hope you quote for a matted body look at this this is all part of a big mat i'm about to take it all out but look at this this was behind her ear alone okay Get her chin here. Her face is pulling on something. I promise you, it's a mat. Okay, all her chin here. Why are we trying to salvage something here? I would not do that to a, a small young dog. Look at this, her whole face. Okay. Matt, just, just the ears are matted. Me ears and high knee. Mm-hmm. 
I tell people, look, I, I don't mean to be offensive, but I'm not gonna put my belief in the, the phone consultation. I will uh, give you an idea of where it can go, the rate, what it starts at and where it can go. And then when I see your pet and actually when I groom your pet, every pet acts different on, under pressure, you know, under mattedness. So it's all matted in here. Every pet acts different. So why would uh, a dog trying to bite me be cheaper than a not? No, it wouldn't. You're gonna put yourself at danger to groom a dog that's matted, which we could have avoided. This is the ear, look at that, ear coming off. The matted ear, the entire ear. This is the ear flap. On top of the ear flap, obviously. Mm. If you were trying to brush those mats it's painful so she may be like get out of here with that brush man it's painful i'm not trying to save anything i think it's a start over point learning lesson and uh it's important to get all the mats off not to detangle and debrush and cause more pain i'm not even trying to do that this is a starting over you gotta start over you know what i'm saying change your blade out move around to this side where again we have a pretty matted ear and face on this side I'm gonna try to get the mats off before I really get into her front the front of her face and get her really upset at me okay try to work all from the back from the back forward You guys see that mat at all? Can you see this mat coming out? Not too much going on here to worry about here. Gotta get that under there. All right, sweetie. Okay, let's come out, see if we can come out this way. This looks great out here, right? Looks great out here. It's not. You just kiss me? Yeah. I know. I'm getting it all off for you, okay? Okay, work with me here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, no. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Look how hard that is. It's hard like a rock. Oh yeah, look, we got that whole face off here. Look at that. Look at that, man. Whew, this poor baby. Man, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. I can't help but baby talk you. I just can't help it. Come here. Come here. Won't even come off, man. There we go, all that. Yeah. Yes. Come here, look this way. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, are you kissing me? Huh? Change your blade. Go ahead. 
Going back to a light warm blade gets hot faster. Hopefully we'll be done here any minute. Hey, let me get under her chin here. Okay, okay, it's okay, no, no, hey, come here. You need to get this under your chin here. Come here. There we go. There we go. Let me turn this around now. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Okay, let me get a guard and see what we can do. A little something, something on the top here. I don't think she's going to let me shave down her muzzle here. Okay, 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 okay. Now if she's a poodle mix, she really should be. Clean face, clean feet, she should be really be used to it. You know what I'm saying? But it's not it's not the case here. Practice, practice makes perfect. So if you're not working with your animal, they're not gonna get used to it like that. And you can't ask. You have to do the training and you have to get in there. It has to get done. Okay? Or then what you save for a professional is, uh, is possibly an aggressive dog. Come here. She knows how to push me. Come here. Come here. Don't do that. Come here. Come here. I know. Hmm. Hmm. You're licking those? Okay. That's fine. A little bit. Okay. Okay. I got her paw here. She's letting, she wanted me to hold her paw. Okay. I really want to get a, uh-uh. No, no. No, no. You know, uh, we talk about dogs looking away. She's trying not to be involved. I got my um, bubble tip, so that's a good. I feel more comfortable with her and her what she's doing with her mouth. Come here, come here, come here. Hi, no, put your feet down. No. So this is training that needs to happen here to get her to let me work with her face. That, 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 that. There you go. And the lead, pulling it tight up here is she's fighting it probably because she don't get walked on a leash and collar. So there's a lot of things that play a role in making that groom very comfortable for your dog. Walking your dog is a necess necessity. You must walk your dog. Exercise. All this I would love to shave out. It's matted, okay? It's matted and so we have to, we're starting from like square one here. Ha, ha, ha. Good, good. Mmm, mmm. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Yeah, don't get mad. Yeah, good girl. Hey, right, don't get mad at me, okay? Leave her something, some, some cute face here if I can. Leaving her a cute face might mean she comes back in with a matted face though. So you got to pick what you want to do. But she's obviously not happy with me shaving her face. So I'm not trying to shave her face today. I want to. She's not going to let me. So we just do, do what we can. Okay. Sometimes all you can do is just do what you can. Might not be able to do what you want. Just do what you can. Good girl. Good girl. And hopefully next time we get more and, and so forth. Create that relationship and do more later next time around, right? And that head might not be perfect today, but we'll get there. Hopefully we'll get there. If not, then just nice easy clean it up and be good at least we got to see her eyes today and there's no mats on her anymore no face mats 
Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Can I see this? Great, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Good girl. All right, get your ear shear. Depending on her behavior, we may or may not, oh, ear shear. We may or may not pull her ear hair out. It just depends. Uh, I don't want to piss her off too badly. Mm -hmm. Oh, we really want to do it though. I'm going to probably muzzle her and give it a whirl. It's pretty, it's very, very thick in there. I want to shave all this off, but I can't right now. I don't want to upset her even more. She's doing good, you know. So we'll get as much as we can, but very carefully. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hold that flap on your hand. Don't cut her ear. Don't have the flap. Don't take a swipe. Keep your scissors closed. In the middle is all ear hair. It needs to be pulled out. It's pretty thick. Like thick. Okay. So we're going to muzzle her. Her mouth is so small. You can either do the orange muzzle that goes over the flat face or go ahead and get a cat muzzle. Okay. We're going to cat muzzle her here. It's always good to have it handy. Get yourself some ear powder. Because I'm going to try to use my fingertips real fast instead. Just dab some of that ear powder in there little by little here. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. It's never been pulled out. Never. It's overwhelmingly, overwhelming amount of hair in there that needs to come out. Okay. The ear canal needs to breathe. Look at that. Two or three swipes and done. Didn't need to get the hemostats out. And because of the muzzle, I think she was able to really just let let me do it. Look at this. Just pinch it all out little by little. And she has so much. I didn't want to sit here for, you know, 10 minutes. Just get in there. Let me see. If she was screaming, I, I would actually do a tiny bit, tiny bit, and then let the parents help pull it out later at home. Boop! Boop! Okay, hold on here. Sometimes that loud noise gets them to look the other all right, so we got all that out. Take this off now. She may not like this, but I'm going to do the do her pads with it on. Hey, <laughs> right, be safe than better be safe than sorry. Get your 40 out. Nails are extremely long. So I want to get all this hair out of my way so I can see the nails better.
All right, now let me sweep my table so you guys can maybe see how much uh, nails is uh, coming off here. Okay. Extremely long nails. All right, let me come over here. Not a lot to take there on that first one anyway. You see this one? All righty, let's go to the bath. All right, we're getting her wrapped up right now. We were, she's a very little da damp. We were not able to blow dry, probably because she's not used to ever being groomed. And in some circumstances, I don't know that other businesses would stop what they're doing and say, okay, we're not gonna push it. We're not gonna upset her more and cause more stress, okay? So if you know your pet, you can say, hey, skip the blow dryer, uh, I'll take her home down. You know what I'm saying? And that way you know it was not forced, forcefully done or done in a cage dryer situation for hours, okay? So in her case, she's lucky, she's got Dee Dee here grooming her and we did not force the blow dryer. I don't really like to make them freak out and do all this and that over blow drying. Okay, especially when I know she's never really been groomed and push that upon her. Okay, she may never because we didn't get started early on. It's she may never get blow dried. It just depends on her if she can overcome some things, which uh, some of those things are walking. If you walk your pet on the city street, nice tight collar, good leash, good control. Getting that exercise will help that dog really learn the environment, last minute sounds, beeps, cars, motorcycles, kids running around, helps your dog gain confidence. And if she never gets walked, she may always have some anxieties where she's like, I don't know about this, I don't know, you know. And she's like, we may never blow dry her. It really comes down to her growth as we um, work with her. Cotton. He will never love the blow dryer. We are able to blow dry him most thoroughly every time, and he's a Maltese, but not all the time. Some days he has a real bad day, you know, and we just make that call, and he's just a little damp that day, going home, you know. She doesn't like her head, so I'm just kind of testing in here. She don't really want her head messed with, which is fine. I'm trying to gain some trust. Cover my nose here. Skim, skim, skim here. Not digging too hard. She's worried. She's shivering. Oh, yeah. If we can get this off of the clipper, great. Yeah. 
my goodness, we're coming a long way. Yeah. Hi. Can I get in here? Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah. Let's get all that out. Yay. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you're doing so good. Yes, you are. You're doing so good. Let me see. I know that wire. What's that wire doing there? Hey. Hey. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Yes, I am. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good enough, right? What do you think? Well, did we do good? Oh, my goodness. She's letting me get in there with the clipper. Hey. I'm so proud of you. You did so good. Yes, you did. I can't believe you came around. Let me get that close to your face with the clipper. I can't believe it. Why'd you let me do that, huh? Really hold that jawbone. You really want some control here. You don't want her jumping around, licking everything on accident. You just want it's a little bit of control there. Hi. Hi, it's okay. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, we need to check this back area here. Can I get you up, up, up? Use your code word so they can start getting used to it. Get this mat out. I can see it. Look. No, no, that, 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 that. Ah, wash the nipples. Girl, hey, yeah. Let's sweep this up. I do want to check some stuff here. Check inside of her toes. Yep, there's a little mat in there. Let me see. Let me see inside your toe. Let me see inside your toe. Go forward. Go forward. If you don't pull so hard, you won't have such a problem. Let me see inside your toe here. Good girl. One more. I want to check inside this toe here. Good girl. You see her? Good girl. Very good. Very good. Yeah. All done. All done, huh? Mm hmm? Rainforest cologne. All right, we're good to go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. If you need any tools, you can pick up the Andis 5 Speed, your 10 blade, 40 blades, all those good stuff on myfavoritegroomer.com. Thanks for watching. Please share. Okay, so dad.
How was the experience? Oh, it was amazing. We had what we thought would be a very difficult dog, and looks like she did really well. So. And the hair is different, but there's a, you got to see some mats. It was really right. like, wow, she was right? In really bad shape. So. And you immediately said, oh, I, I wasn't getting underneath at all, yeah. like the mats yeah, under she, the, the yeah, skin we level. Definitely, yeah, we definitely waited too long and didn't do enough job of keeping Well, it fearful right. because tell them um, you, you didn't want to go back to where? To, I didn't want to go back to Pet Smart because had bad experience and the was turnover. there nicking? What there? Well, yeah, well, he got our, our other dog got nicked in the ear really bad. And What's really bad? Well, it was bleeding. They had to send him over to the Banfield, Banfield to okay. put some glue or something yeah. to, keep, to stop the bleeding. And I mean, which I understand that can happen. But was he matted? But, um, not not like this. No, I mean, right. We get him every day, about right. every three months. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And that you were like, okay, we don't really want to set this. She was a new puppy to your right, right new yeah, dog, right, yeah. and you didn't want to set that stage for her. Right, exactly. So you you really tried to protect her. It did get overwhelming, right? right. The matting got. Yeah. You just recognized it yesterday after yeah, a bath. After a bath, that's when I realized how bad it was. Right. Whenever I was trying to dry her off. Right. But at least it, you know. On the, you found somebody that didn't nick her. She didn't get nicked. She didn't get injured. She and didn't that, get. Like I said, that's amazing. Now that you with all the stuff, got, got off, and yeah. we didn't nick anything. Yeah, so okay, it's really important you find someone that knows how to do what they need to do right. without injure injuries. Right. right. And, and that then was the main thing. no veins in the no everything. All these little things. If you haven't started them off young enough, mm -hmm. are a trigger to just hate in yeah. in grooming yeah. with animals. And like, there's no pain associated here except for I think she realized. She's getting it off, right. you know. At first, you could see in the video, she was really wanting to buck me, yeah. you know. And eventually, she started feeling it probably dissipate and go, ah, it's coming off. And she really just let me finish up what we needed to do. That's so, good. thanks for coming in. I appreciate okay. you. Hey, no problem. Thanks for letting me record that. Okay, sure. <laughs>